This is the Words in Season podcast. My name is Kara Marie Morris, and I want to welcome you to part six of Faith Is, where we're not looking at a formula of faith, but we're looking at the measure of faith that God has given us, and that's encouraging to us and strengthening us, and how to recognize that, yes, there is faith in my life, and what's happening in this life of faith. In the first episode, we looked at what faith like a child looks like, and that God is walking with us just like a loving parent and we just want to spend all our time telling him about our lives we get excited but also what he says it goes what the parent says goes for our good and for our benefit then we looked at part two that faith is like a seed and maybe the seed looks different to, to, to other people but the seed that he's given to me it will show me things to come it's a container showing me things to come And then in episode three, we talked about faith like a shield, that it's protecting me, that I can quench every fiery dart of the wicked one, whether it's coming towards me, towards a loved one, coming towards the church, we can quench those with the shield of faith. And then we talked about in episode four, we talked about shipwreck. How do I recognize shipwreck in my life, a faith shipwreck or someone else's life? And that's, it's not just enough to identify what a faith shipwreck looks like in my life or to identify continually, oh, I'm shipwrecked or, oh, look, there's a shipwreck, but there's something that we're supposed to do once we see a shipwreck. So that's in episode four. And then last episode, we looked at that faith is like a test and that we can call those tests good and that it's for our benefit not because it's sickness or disease or calamity or anxiety. God doesn't bring those things, but the tests that God brings along our paths are for our good. So this is part six, where we want to talk about faith is, and you can always check out more episodes on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You can also listen to it on Spotify, Apple iTunes, or on the Anchor FM app. Remember that every time you tune in to the Words in Season podcast, that Jesus has a word in season for you. So this is part six of Faith Is, and this week I want to talk to you about a phrase that was in my heart for part six, and that is, faith is DNA. It is what makes up who we are. It is our hereditary material. It's our genetic information. It is how God programmed me. Naturally, on the outside, my genetic information, my natural genetic information says that I come from the Morris family and I was gonna have blue eyes and that I was gonna have a certain hair color and that I was gonna have a certain skin color. That's what my genetic information says in the natural. And it's the same in the spiritual my genetic information when I became a child of God. Let's go to the first scripture, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new is here. So I am now a new creation in Christ. And by faith, I see myself as that new creation that he called me. So it says in the word of God in Genesis 1:26, and we reference these a lot on this podcast, but it is who we are and it's foundational to who we are. So Genesis 1:26 says, let us make man in our image and in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish, over the sea, over the birds, over all the wild animals. So God said, let's make man in our own image. So in this new creation life, I have been made, remade to look like him. So now this spiritual genetic information says, I look like him. And to a lot of people that could almost sound like blasphemy. But when Jesus died on the cross, he took my place. That's where I should have been. I should have been called guilty. But when Jesus died on the cross, God said, Kara Marie Morris's debt has been paid in full and all who would believe in their heart and confess with their mouth, their debt is paid in full. So now Jesus, because of what he did, now his father became my father. And every child, 
every child has their par parental DNA. Whether, you know, some some kids, they get estranged from their parents or because of war, they've, they've been taken away from their parents or different reasons. But still, there's markers on their DNA to point who they are. So when Jesus rose from the dead in John 20, 17, he was telling Mary, don't touch me because I haven't ascended yet. But he said, this is what's so telling. He said, I'm going and I am ascending to my father and your father. I'm going to my God and your God. Before all of that time, he talked about his father, my father's house, my father's temple. And God talked about him as he was baptized in the river and as the dove descended upon him when he got baptized, Jesus was called his beloved son. But now after Jesus died on the cross and he rose again, he called his father, our father, our father. He is now your father. And because of your father, your lineage has changed. Your genetic markers have changed spiritually. Once what was dead is now alive. So traits that I have inherited from my dad, from my heavenly father, are traits that are marked with faith. I now have eyes that can see what's invisible. I have ears to hear what is inaudible to other people. I have a hand that reaches out when no one else wants to reach out because that hand reached out to me. And now I have a heart that beats for and breaks for what his heart beats and breaks for. I am now moved in my heart with compassion like his was. Naturally, if you would see who my parents are, that you could say, oh yeah, I could see Kara kind of looks like them, maybe same eyes, maybe similar habits, maybe similar genetic information. But now because my nature has been changed spiritually and because we've been made in his image and likeness, first of all, I am a spirit. That is what I want to take priority, priority over all of my thinking, all of my actions, everything that I do, because faith is my DNA. God spoke and it existed. He sees things that are invisible. He hears things that are inaudible to other people because he does it by faith, because he is faith. And now because his DNA is my DNA, I can do the same. Just like the idea of the Trinity, I was thinking about the idea of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There's no nothing that can separate the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it says in 1 Corinthians 6, 17, it says that they that are joined unto the Lord are one, are one spirit with him. So now we are one spirit with him. The same DNA that the Father has, I have. Matthew 5, 8, and this is Jesus talking. Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God because faith is my DNA. It is the very substance that I am made out of, my spirit, who I really am. That's what I was reborn of. When I got born again as a little kid, no one could see any difference. I didn't know any difference, but my nature was changed. I, that, that old heart, that old nature was taken away. And now I have a pure heart that sees God. It allows me to see things differently. So with my natural eyes, I may have blue eyes and yes, I can see, I can see the green grass, I can see the sky, I can see the things around me. But with his eyes, now that I have this new nature, now that faith is my DNA, I can see into the future. I can talk to my coworkers and I can see the good in them. I can talk to the, the customers that maybe they're cranky or having a bad day and I can see they're hurting, they're lost. Maybe they just lost their job. I can see them the way that Jesus sees them. Because faith is my DNA, 
It means that I can see like my father sees. I can hear when people are complaining, when people are, are, are cussing and using the Lord's name in vain. What I hear is I don't hear those words maybe in those particular form. What I hear is hurt. What I hear is lost. What I hear is father, Papa, I, I know that there's a word that you would have me to speak in this, in this area to bring peace, to bring joy, to bring rest, to bring healing, to bring them to you. And because faith is my DNA, I can see beyond what is natural and I can hear like you. I can see like you. I can reach out like you. I can pray like you. Just like Jesus, that Jesus is, it says in the, in the Word of God that Jesus, He's always interceding for us. He's interceding for us to make it, for us to do well, to run our race with joy. Jesus is on our side. He wants us to do well. And because of that, because I have this faith that there's someone besides me that exists that is important, it allows me to see the value of every day. It allows me to see the value of every person. Because faith is my DNA, I can see like my father sees. I can see through the eyes of faith. I can hear through the ears of faith. Whenever the world is saying, oh, we're not gonna, we're, that's it, we're running out of food, we're running out of gas, there's war, it's never gonna end, there's gonna be another pandemic. But what I hear is Jesus is Lord. What I hear is I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. And what I see is my life progressing in a supernatural way where not only am I gonna prosper, but my hand can be that supernatural hand of Jesus Christ that reaches out with healing, with food, with finances. That's what changes. Whenever my DNA is changed, when I become a new creation in Christ, it's amazing that it becomes not just about me, even though I know he's always with me, but what it does is it motivates and it opens my eyes, my ears. It reaches out my hand. It touches my heart to see people and to see the world the way he does. It completely changes it. In the world and in the natural, because we live in a fallen world, because Adam and Eve sinned. You know, Adam and Eve were, were really people. They're not just a fairy tale that, you know, people tell just like Cinderella or something. But actually, Adam and Eve lived and they died a natural death because they listened to the devil. They listened to the question, did God really say? Did God really say? And they questioned their identity and they disobeyed God willingly. And then sin came into the world. And because of that, naturally, every human being that is born is born selfish and born just thinking about me, myself, and I. I'm talking about myself without Jesus Christ. All I think about is me, myself, and I. But because I have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness and brought into light, like it says in Colossians 1, I have been born into the kingdom of the son of his love. And now because of what Jesus did, he said, now I'm ascending and he did. Jesus ascended to not only his father, but he said, your father, my father. And now because of that, it's not just something that we believe in. It's something that changed us internally, spiritually, now, how exactly does all that work? I don't know, but that's where faith comes in. That is why faith is my DNA. I don't have to see with my natural eyes to know that he's with me. I don't have to hear an audible voice to know that he's speaking to me. And I don't have to feel something like a, a physical hand touching me to know that his hand will always provide. I don't have to experience something naturally to know that God is my father. When I read in the word of God, that's how I learn or from pastors or from leaders in my life. That's how I learn. And how do I know? I don't have to say, faith doesn't say prove it. Faith says, I already know it. I know it to be true 
because I have something in my heart and that something is a reborn, born again, second born, twice born spirit that has been made in his image and likeness. In Acts 17 verse 24, it says, the God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and he doesn't live in a temple built by human hands and he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself give every, everyone life and breath and everything else. In verse 27, God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out to him and find him. For though he is not far from any one of us, for in him we live and we move and we have our being. In him we live and we move and our DNA is in him. As a believer in Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they live in us, they recreated our nature. So now we are new, we are spirits that are made in his image and likeness so that we can see like he sees. That's the word in season this week. The word in season is that we can see the way he sees, we can hear the way he hears. We can reach out the way he reaches out. We can have our hearts moved with compassion, the way his is moved with compassion because faith is our DNA. Faith doesn't say prove it, faith knows it because of relationship. I don't have to have someone prove to me. I don't have to have my natural eyes to see it, to hear it, to touch it, to know that he is with me, to know that what he promised is a promise that he will keep, that it's a good promise. No matter what the world says, no matter what my feelings say, I know it because it's part of my DNA. That's what's so amazing is even people who say there is no God, even them just sitting there and breathing, like he said, I give life and breath to everyone. He gives life and breath to everyone, even those who deny him. He still gives the gift of life and breath. And even in their life and breath, they are showing that there is a creator, that there is someone who had a plan. And even in their genetic DNA, even as they're saying, God, we deny you, he is saying, Jesus already died for you. I have a plan for you. You have been reconciled by the blood of Jesus. So faith is our DNA and we cannot be separated from that. We can lose sight of it, we can get distracted, we can let busyness cloud our vision, but because the Heavenly Father is now my Father, I look like Him, I talk like Him, I hear like Him, I speak like Him, I reach out and my heart beats like Him. Now faith is that genetic marker that points to the spiritual, the supernatural, who my spiritual father is. It is faith that is my DNA. So thank you for watching the Words and Season podcast this week. Remember that faith is DNA. Faith isn't saying you have to prove it. Faith isn't saying I won't, I won't believe it until I see it, hear it, or touch it. I don't believe it because other people say it's not true. No, faith is our DNA because we have relationship with him. And we know what he said he will do and that it is good. So thank you for taking the time to watch the Words in Season podcast. Remember, you can find more episodes on social media, on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Apple iTunes, Spotify, and on Anchor FM. Remember that every time that you tune in, that Jesus has a word in season for you. I know you've got a word in season. Even